What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I just wanted to talk to you about the recommended bit rates that you'll want to be streaming at for Twitch. I recently did a video for YouTube Live and I talked about the uh, flexible um, options they have for bit rates where you can go all the way up to like 50,000 kilobits per second and they'll still accept it and not only restream it, but they will um, archive it so you can download it later at that bit rate. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I tried doing the same thing on Twitch, but they do have an enforced bitrate limit, so I thought I'd talk about those today. So, um, bitrates, a uh, quick introduction crash course, is essentially how fast your upload speed needs to be in order to encode at that level. So what it is, is um, as you're recording the screen, it's how, many, how much space is taken up per second that... Um, as you're recording. So the more space you take up, the, the higher quality of an image can be recorded. You know, every frame can be recorded at full quality at higher bit rates, but at a lower bit rate, you start to use compression and um, it lowers the quality, but increases the speed that it can transfer at. So um, the higher the bit rate, the higher the quality, um, but the slower the transfer and the um, lower the bit rate, the lower the quality, but the faster your stream will get out there. So there is kind of a balance that needs to um, happen, but basically if your internet connection can handle uploading, like say um, if the bit rate is six megabits per second or 6,000 kilobits per second, then you need to have at least, I would say 10 megabits per second of upload on your internet connection to support that bandwidth. Um, basically as long as you have that overhead you should be good to stream on that bit rate um, they recommend a 30 to 40 percent overhead for your internet connection just to allow your game or whatever you're actually playing to also use a bit of your internet speed as you're streaming so um, we'll go over the bit rates and what speeds they recommend for each uh, resolution and um, then i'll tell you what i recommend for each as well so for 720p, they have 30 and 60 frames a second. And um, you'll notice that there's two columns here. The left column is for NVIDIA encoding cards. And if you have a, a recent NVIDIA card, it has NVENC most likely. Um, X264 is using your CPU to do software encoding. And um, they each have uh, slightly different recommendations, but they're basically the same. Um, AMD cards have their own encoding um, setup, and I find it comparable to NVIDIA, but not quite as fast. NVIDIA is a little bit more polished in terms of um, quality and speed, but AMD is right up there, and you probably won't notice a difference, um, especially for these settings. So um, for 720p, 30 frames per second, they recommend 3,000 kilobits per second. Um, that's three megabits per second. So you have to have at least, I would say, six megabits per second upload speed for that. Um, for 720p at 60 frames a second, uh, the bit rate is 4,500 kilobits per second. So as long as you have maybe like an eight megabit per second upload, you should be okay at 720p 60. Uh, for 1080p at 30 frames a second, we're also at 4,500 kilobits per second. So you kind of have to figure out whether you want to use a lower resolution stream at 60 frames a second which looks better for gaming or a higher resolution stream at a slower frame rate because um, it's just going to be for general viewing so it's just personal preference on what you prefer <coughs> um, and finally for 1080p at 60 frames per second um, all maxed out the max you can stream at is 6000 kilobits per second um, I would recommend a 10 meg connection for that and um, as long as you have that, you should be okay to stream at 6,000. Anything above that tends to get shut down by Twitch. It doesn't actually stream. It just shows a black screen and says it's incompatible. Um, I've done maybe 6,200 and it sometimes works, but just to be safe, 6,000 is the max that you can stream to Twitch. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace.